Hi, I'm Takanobi Mizuta from Spark Asset Management in Tokyo. Today, I'm going to give a presentation under the title An Agent Based Model for Designing a Financial Market That Works Well. This presentation shows the philosophy of an agent based asset market model. Why models are needed? How models should be? In the first place, what is a model? We should understand what is a model deeper for healthy discussion using a model. I will try to clear up a common misunderstanding for a model. After the discussion, I will review the case, investigating tick size reduction using a model. This is a table of contents today's talk. At first, I I will explain what is an asset market model, an agent-based model for a financial market. Importance and difficulty of market design. People have been able to develop advanced economy by cooperating to exchange goods for money. Creating of any industry requires investment to first purchase or build tools to make goods. Financial market enables smooth investment and create better goods, better service. There are two extreme op opinions. No regulation is best. On the other hand, destroy a society and financial market. But uh, both is wrong. A market works well only if it is well designed. Proper rules and regulation are required. Market design determines whether a market works well or badly, so it is very important for developing the economy. On the other hand, market is a highly, highly complex system. It is at least as complex as the systems studied by physicists and biologists. So, investigating the market is very difficult and a highly, highly complex system. So, Designing a market well is very important for developing an advanced economy, but not easy. Agent-based models succeeded to explain social complex systems other than financial market. For example, making an evaluate route of a new building for fire and terror, investigating for effect of buildings, new roadway to traffic jam. Uh, discussing how spread COVID-19 and so on. There are many, many studies succeed to explain the phenomena of social complex systems. An asset market model, an agent-based model for financial market, where virtual and asset financial market built on computer. Models include agents, asset investors, and price mechanism, asset exchange. Each agent determines an order by some rules. Price mechanism just an agent orders and determine market price. This is complete computer simulations needing no empirical data. Asher market model can discuss on mechanisms between the micro macro feedback and can be conducted to investigate situations that have never occurred in actual financial market and can be conducted to isolate the direct effect of changing rules. Nature, science articles also argue the importance of simulations. Traditional economy theory could not explain, much less predict the near collapse of the financial system 2008. So, agent model is needed. There is also a book, very famous book, Criticism to Standard Economic Model and Arguing the Needs of Agent Based Models. Practical persons, for example, regulators, central bankers, and stock exchanges have begun to use agent based models to solve urgent real problems. Next, I will discuss suitable complexity, advantages, and disadvantages of asset market models. An agent-based model explaining a complex system. 
A financial market is a highly, highly complex system where a simple summation of macro process, uh, for example, trade behaviors, never explain macro phenomena, uh, price formation. Separately investigating macro phenomena and micro processes are clearly explain complex systems where macro phenomena and micro processes interact. A mathematical model or an empirical study cannot directly treat nor clearly explain the interactions. On the other hand, an agent-based model can directly treat and clearly explain the interactions because in an agent-based model, microprocess agent behavior is a simple model and simulates uh, output macro phenomena plus formation as a result, simulation result, and feedback to the agent behavior. So, treat directly, indirectly as a microprocess and macro phenomena. On the other hand, a mathematical model and empirical, uh, empirical study treat separately uh, precious model to the macro phenomena and microprocess. So, I cannot directly treat nor clearly explain the interactions. Outputs of empirical study are included in areas that has happened in real financial market. The advantage of an empirical study is output excludes the area not happening in past or future. The a disadvantage, however, is outputs exclude any area happening in the future. The advantage of agent-based model is output includes the part of area happening in the future. The disadvantage, however, is output includes the part of area not happening in the past or future. An agent-based model just outputs possible results to understand the mechanism of a market. Discussing whether the result will occur or not is other method, an empirical study and mathematical model. The advantage of an agent-based model is a directly treat positive feedback, uh, otherwise self-fulfilling prophecy or self-reinforcing process. Uh, this, is, this process is uh, typical of a bubble process, expecting some, someone by higher price and uh, I buy, price rises, meet my expectation, it convinces me, and then more expecting someone by higher price. So uh, this is a positive feedback and a, a loop. Those ways should collaborate to mutually compensate for their disadvantage. Agent-based model has an advantage of understanding interaction mechanism and environment happening in the future. But uh, uh, microprocess uh, modeled by agent-based model uh, should validate it. Uh, should validate it as a method, for example, behavior economics, experience economics, and so on. And uh, uh, output of agent-based model, macro phenomena, should be verified uh, as a, by other ways, uh, empirical study, financial engineering, and so on. So, discussing the outputs of, of an agent-based model always needs knowledge given by empirical study and mathematical model. A market that works well should be designed by not one but several methods, and the methods should collaborate to mutually compensate for their disadvantages. Here, I want to discuss what is the role of simulation model suitable complexity. This is a very famous book by the uh, Michael Weisenberg discussing the philosophy of models and simulations. What is the role of simulation models? What is model? How complexity is suitable for the model? Very, very good book. I think all researchers who use some model should read this book for healthy discussion using a model. Following some slides, I will introduce the discussion of the book.
Then think which map explains the axis better. Some of the maps are models of real geophysical for understanding an axis. Left side map is a very different from the real. Not real reality, but however, uh, but very good at explaining the access uh, from the station to the office. On the other hand, right side is a uh, not a good map, very but very very similar to real. However, very bad explaining the access for. Uh, I don't know how can, can I uh, uh, from the station to the uh, office. So, we must shape non investigating feature from the border. Different investigations, so different shaping paths. So, different in investigation purpose, uh, good border are uh, different. In the case of agent based Asia market border, um, the each, each investor inherited only important property. Uh, behavior algorithm uh, for investigating phenomena. So, model of investors and uh, aim is to understand how important property affect investigating macro phenomena and play role in system. It is not aim replicating real existing investor A, B, and C. It is aim understanding real existing investors. So, the simplicity of the model is very important because unnecessary replication of macro phenomena is to model that are overfitted and too, comp too complex. Such models prevent understanding and discovery of mechanisms affecting price formation because of the increase in related factors. So, as a forecasting phenomena, as a good model, no model good for anything exist. There is a very good example of the agent based model by Thomas Schering got the Nobel Prize. This model simulates a party with student Sharp and Professor uh, Atma. For example, uh, the rule is uh, like that like this. Uh, for example, I am a student if I uh, uh, around me with more one third uh, students, not blue. But no, for example, my, uh, around me, uh, many, many professors have uh, moved. So after many steps, this uh, model and uh, output is, is uh, uh, students and uh, professors have been separated. So this a uh, result shows a very, very important implication. The seg segregation occurs even if we want not to be heavily minority. So we do not hate other kinds of big uh, students, do not hate the professor as a, as a, as a vice versa. So, but, but, segregation occurs. So, this is a very, very important uh, implication. The purpose of simulation is understanding the reason and the mechanism uh, occurring the segregations, not forecasting the final distribution. So, uh, for example, where the table, how much they eat, where uh, assistant professor, is the party uh, place square uh, behaviors of people too simple as a silly questions for the purpose of the simulation prevents our understanding the mechanism. So simplifying depends on the what that we want to understand. Sorry, I skipped this slide. A case study. Here, I have planned to introduce this paper as a typical study investigating the design of financial market using a financial market model, but no time remains. Uh, so, sorry to skip this slide. Uh, this slide. Sorry, skip. Skip, skip. Conclusion. 
Uh, I hope that more agent-based Asia market models will contribute to designing a financial market that works well to future develop and maintain advanced economies. That's all. Thank you very much.